Hello and welcome to BBC World News. In the past hour, the British Chancellor Rishi Sunak has announced that the G7 group of leading economies have reached what he called an historic agreement to reform the global tax system. The deal includes a global minimum corporation tax of at least 15% and aims to ensure global multinational companies, including big tech giants, will pay what Mr Sunak described as the right tax in the right places. Our business correspondent Katie Austin reports. How much tax should multinational companies, particularly tech giants, pay and where should they pay it? Those were the questions at the heart of these discussions between G7 finance ministers. Today, a consensus to back a global minimum rate of at least 15%. I'm delighted to announce that today, after years of discussion, G7 finance ministers have reached a historic agreement to reform the global tax system, to make it fit for the global digital age, but crucially to make sure that it's fair so that the right companies pay the right tax in the right places. The deal is seen as a significant development. Since at least 10 years ago, and probably earlier, there's been this, I think, dissatisfaction that lots of companies move their um, headquarters um, to very low tax jurisdictions. But it has been really hard to come up with a global deal on corporation tax. Some countries, including the UK, have already introduced their own digital services tax. There had been pressure from the US to drop them quickly as part of this deal. Asked if the UK would now do that, the Chancellor said the measure had always been intended as a temporary one. This is the first step, G7 agreement, we've got to move to the G20 and then beyond. But obviously the intention would be once there is a global multilateral solution in place, then the need for those DSTs falls away. The rules agreed today would also aim to make companies pay tax in the countries where they are selling their products or services rather than where their profits are declared. How transformative this group's deal is depends on getting other nations on board too. But the German finance minister said it was bad news for tax havens. Katie Austin, BBC News.